Okay. Hello, and uh, thank you for joining us today. Uh, my name is Pete Pizzatello. I work for CAS as, uh, in the product marketing group. I wanted to uh, thank you for your time. Uh, this is an exciting webinar for us to have uh, Mr. Norton here. And um, the topic's been very interesting. Got a lot of attention recently in the press, and you can tell by our attendance that we have a lot of folks in the audience that are interested in this topic. So our speaker today is Dave Norton. He's the uh, research director uh, for, out of the UK for Gartner. Uh, he is the research director uh, in charge of application development and architecture team. His uh, professional background includes work as the global head of methods and tools at DHL and senior system specialist uh, at, at Paul. Uh, previously in his uh, commercial experience, he researched and implemented IT architecture frameworks and associated development methods to ensure businesses, business and IT alignment enable flexibility and to maintain the IT value add. Uh, most recently, he's published some research on how to balance the size and skills of your Agile team, as well as the application delivery options in, in a pace layered application strategy. So today, Mr. Norman will be talking about getting smart about technical debt. And I'll hand it over to you, Dan. Thank you. So welcome, everybody. Uh, let's get going about technical debt. So, the old saying, only measure those things you want to control, is never more true into this area of technical debt. And if we move into what technical debt really means, it's not just technical, it's IT debt. It's decisions, it's architecture, it's anything that we've done that we're going to have to pay back. It's just like normal debt. You, you, if you borrow £100 from the bank, you're going to have to give it back sometime. And it's the same in IT. Now, some of that debt is because of poor decisions. A large part of that debt is just because the decisions we made 10, 15 years ago were, were the correct ones, but things have moved on. Look at so things like cloud computing, mobile applications. These sorts of new innovations are starting to show up the debt in organizations. And we've got to be clear, every person on this call has IT debt. There is no exceptions. Every person on this call has some level of IT debt. The question is how much and how much is it impeding your ability to really service the needs of the business? Because IT debt is not just the CIO's problem. It's not just the head of quality's problem. We've got to be really clear that it's the business problem because it stops us performing. How big is it? Well, conservatively, we're probably over half a trillion dollars worth of IT debt in, in the Western world today. That's conservative. We're going to be well over the trillion dollar mark within the next three years. And as I said earlier, all of us are carrying some of that burden in our organization. The focus of today is really about making that visible, giving you some ideas about how you can get this on the radar of the business. So where is this debt coming from? So if you look at your applications, you, they have, hopefully, they have business value. We're doing this to actually do something for the business. We talk about their reliability. We talk about their performance. Occasionally, we talk about their operating costs, and that's one of the things I want to get onto later on, that uh, my life at Gartner, I spend 90% of my calls talking about development, but very little talking about the operating costs. And there's a maintenance cost obviously associated with the operating costs. But it's what's under the water that really concerns me. All of these application systems have internal coupling, external coupling, code complexity. They have issues of maintainability. They have a size, be it so, so many use case points, be it so many function points, lines of code. There is a size to these applications that we need to understand. They all have redundant code. So to serve you, most, most applications, maybe 20, 25% of the code base 
is never actually touched or maybe even completely unreachable. And they have to be tested. This is all what's hidden from us within most applications today. We don't really spend enough time in developing the application portfolio to answer the question, how much of that iceberg is under the water? Is it a little? Is it a lot? I think in most organizations, it's a lot. And I think this is where we've got to start to recognize this is a serious issue before this iceberg sinks the ship, which is business. 